A woman named Renee Napier wrote to me from Florida, and she shared with me about how she has a mission in her life that she never would have chosen for herself. And she's been on a journey, um, stepping out of the darkness of bitterness and anger and into the light of forgiveness. Um, she's been asked to do the impossible, and the reason she's been asked to do the impossible is because her 20-year-old daughter was driving home from the beach one night in Florida when her car was struck by a drunk driver. Uh, the drunk driver was a 24-year-old kid named Eric, who by all accounts was actually a really great kid. Um, but he was out and made some bad decisions one night and for the first time got behind the wheel of his car drunk. Uh, Eric took the uh, lives of both Renee's daughter and her daughter's best friend. Both girls died that night. And Eric, um, his life came to a screeching halt. Renee's life came to a screeching halt. Everybody involved was in shock. Eric was sentenced to 22 years in prison uh, because of the crime he committed. And here's this grieving mother left to somehow try and pick up the pieces of life after she's had to do what no parent should ever have to do, say goodbye to her child. She said she was in the darkest place that she'd ever been in her life. Um, she was filled with hatred and anger towards the man who was behind bars. And any one of us on the outside could look at that story and say, well, I, I understand that. I get that. In fact, when I read her story, I thought about my two little girls, you know. And the first thought I had is if anybody ever tried to harm my children, I don't know that I would have it in me to forgive as God commands us to forgive. And yet, as the months uh, began to pile up, she felt like God was putting it on her heart that uh, she was the one, even though he was behind bars, she was the one being held prisoner. And uh, God just began to remind her, hey, I did the impossible and forgave you. I sent my son for you. Now, if you want to be free, you need to go and forgive this man. So she reached out to Eric behind bars and said, hey, I serve a God who commands me to forgive. So I want you to know that I, I'm setting it free. I'm forgiving you. More importantly, I want you to know that um, God can forgive you too. Little did she know that that would um, change that young man's life. And behind bars, this prisoner, Eric, accepted Jesus into his heart as his own personal savior powerful story of what forgiveness can do. The story didn't end there though. Renee began to develop an unlikely friendship with this young man and her whole family began to embrace this young man and now they feel like they lost a daughter but strangely they've gained a son. Renee worked with the courts in Florida and had his sentence cut in half from 22 years to 11 years. At the time I was writing this song I had no idea that this was going on. So I'm writing these, these songs about setting a prisoner free. And little did I know that this November, Eric is going to be released from prison. And he'll be standing side by side with Renee. Renee goes around the country and shares at schools about the dangers of drunk driving. Now Eric's going to be out of prison standing next to her. She said they're not just going to share about the dangers of drunk driving anymore, but also about the power of forgiveness. I'll sing that last verse again. And... Uh, these words took on new significance when I found out that Eric was free and Renee was free. It'll clear the bitterness away. It can even set a prisoner free. There is no end to what its power can do. So let it go and be amazed by what you see through eyes of grace. The prisoner that it really frees is you. Forgiveness.